Octopath Traveler is rated T for Teen by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Octopath Traveler. In the last episode, we had completed Ulbrich's story here in Victor's Hollow. In fact, you can still hear Ulbrich's theme playing. And in this episode, we're going to make our way to Still Snow to complete our last Chapter 2 story, which involves Primrose. However, before we leave, I do want to go find the tavern. Oh, and now we're back to Victor's Hollow music. I don't think the tavern was up here. So I changed the music for no reason. I apologize. Ulbrich's theme is probably one of the better themes in the game. It's nice and smooth, very heroic sounding, really puts in the essence of a warrior. So, let's change our team. I want to pull out Tressa for a little bit, because she needs the level ups so that we can do her next chapter without her dying. So let's make sure that she is well equipped. I don't think I unequipped her of things. Okay. Um, old brick. Actually, let's check these guys again. Magnus Knife. Gustav Shield. No, I'm gonna keep Gustav Shield on Tressa because she is weaker. She probably needs the better equipment. Divine Blade. Gideon's Dagger. Just make sure these guys are Spike shield. Chakra band. Oh wait. Oh no. Uh yeah, Grand Helm is better. Did her and you are yeah, you're still there. Hasty helm. Okay, and silver vest. Uh, there are better vests to get him in. But that's fine. Okay. So now we have Tressa, which is good because now whenever we go into a new area that's relatively new, particularly for Tressa, she's going to get... Uh, Tressa, you were supposed to pick something up for me, girl. Oh well. Um, so basically what we're... Oh. new enemy that we have yet to fully finish, so we'll keep this battle in. So what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to be... I think my gameplay... No, I can adjust gameplay volume and post. It's better to just have it at its full capabilities. Um, what we are going to do is make our way to still snow and the reason why again is because that's where our next chapter takes place so we're gonna be making our way to there I'm gonna summon the townsperson this is the last summon we get of this one there may be better people at still snow and I want tempest trade so wind is not weak against people of the forest. Good to know. Let's see. Uh, I don't really have other moves. This is how weak I have Tressa. She really needs to spend some time on the field.
Okay. Might as well just go with Fireball. Perfect. Okay, so... I never knew that the townsperson runs away at the end of the battle. That's pretty funny. So I want to go this way a little bit. And turn here. Hmm. Light and lightning. Well, what we're going to start with is lightning blast. Oh, I don't have any light soul stones. Uh, let's go with Nidode. Excellent. Okay, so continuing on with my... I keep rambling and forgetting where I was with my story, but fortunately we made it to Still Snow. Once again, Still Snow is only accessible from the woodlands. If you even look at this map, there is no dotted line that goes here to here. You have to go through the forest if you're going to Still Snow. And Still Snow is a unique area in that there is no real path to walk on. So just be aware of that. There's going to be lots of monsters here. Lots of unique monsters because the ice has to be different. Let's see. Lightning weak. I'm surprised they're not weak to fire. Considering that they're ice creatures. Uh, the logical course of action is to lightning bolt them all. I'm super curious how he died in one hit, but I don't actually know what his health level was entering this battle, so... gonna go with thunder again no let's go firestorm yeah okay and then on primrose we're gonna heal Therian I'm sure he loves being face down in the snow. Firestorm. Therian is going to go with a dagger hit. No. You're gonna go with a bow. And you're gonna heal. There we go. Okay, now it's the bird's turn again. I already know the dagger doesn't do anything. Sword? Oh, brilliant. The sword does do something. Lightning bolt. Perfect. <clears throat> That's a little sword today. Okay, so. Let's go into inventory. Let's deal with the plums. 
Perfect. And let's continue until we hit still snow. This map is a little... What? I've never encountered these things on my personal file. I don't even know what they are. What the heck? Uh, let's go... Peacock Strut. No. Light comes immediately before dark. We're gonna go dark. Fire. So we know they're not weak to fire, so lightning. They are penguins. I was actually joking. Well, the bow worked. So let's do the sword. No, it's probably spear. Night Ode. Excellent. Lightning Blast. These weird chubby penguins are actually disturbing to look at. Oh, it hits both. Oh, thank goodness I eliminated one of them. Uh, yeah. And then a lightning blast. And then a not night ode. Midnight Waltz. Moonlight. Lightning. Attempt to steal Olive of Life. Good, I got my... my item back. The Moonlight Waltz at its full strength. Perfect. Okay. So still snow is further down right here. Do not worry about any past caves, because after this chapter, we are actually going to start going through caves. We're going to start our journey on another day. Welcome to Still Snow, our humble village buried amidst the deep drifts. Uh, let's steal some sort of flax. Also, totally forgot to scrutinize the first person. This kid knows about a hidden item. Probably a buried toy he left in the snow. I don't like the odds of 60. Candy? Soul stones! Yes, they are ice, but that's useful in other areas. Let's see. That's the inn. That's the shop. Grab all of these. And let's scrutinize. He also had a hidden item. Also...
also a hidden item. It's just a city of hidden items, isn't it? I won't complain much. Okay, so there is a quest inside. I'm an inventor by trade. Right now I'm working on a portable heat source that one could easily carry from place to place. But I need more materials to work with if I'm to make a functional prototype. I haven't even made it. I haven't even made it so far as of yet. Coal, flax, and a handy metal container. If only I had those three things, I'm sure I could get it working. Okay, so there's probably people around town that I have to buy or steal from to get those components. So we're gonna... This is the one dude. This is Ulbrich. Hi, Ulbrich. Should you ever be in need of an extra swordsman, I stand at the ready. And Ophelia. Should you need guidance and support on your path, I'm ever at your service. Okay, let's continue. Soothing Seed and Crescent Daggers. And scrutinize. Show me nothing. But you do have a side quest. Someday I'm going to leave this village and become a singer. It is my greatest dream. But I cannot go anywhere until my family pays off our debts. My father is, well, with him being the way that he is, I cannot simply abandon my family to pursue my own dreams. I mean, you could. Silver Dagger. Scrutinize. Dragon of the Frostlands. So there's someone who wants stories. You. So we have indeed met again. Do you remember me? Sir Miles of the Knights Ardant? I have been continuing in my hopes to discover the truth about my father. I am to keep this town safe. Protecting the people is an important duty of the Knights on Dot. I'd hardly been given my first appointment before I fell foul of bandits. I had to fight them off. I thought I was quite good with a sword, but... And the taste of real battle is quite different from that of mere training I discovered. This will not do. I am far too unpracticed in true battle to protect anyone like this. Please, will you aid me in my training? So I need Ulbrich for him. But we'll make sure he can't cheat by healing. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Hello, little boy, child, townsperson. Oh, d don't tell anyone I'm here. He has the pot. Scrutinize a hidden item. Let's see what you can do. Slow motion. I feel he slows down my enemies, which could be useful. Firestorm. For 40% to succeed. That is why Ophelia is the better option. She can guide people just based on her level. Huh. She's in the same dress as me. Am I not cold dressed like this, you ask? No. I wear more layers when I go out. I'm fine. So I can't steal that. How much does she want for it? 72. Yeah, we'll get it. Poison Slash. A discount at the end. I was gonna wait until after, but that Forbidden Dagger. Wow, that really boosts her physical abilities. Swapping.
Uh, no. Uh, I'm looking to go this way now. They say the forest past here is home to all manner of dreadful fiends. That's why I'm here and not there. If you value your life, I suggest you follow my lead. Well, he has the coal. And now we have provoke like a pro. So now at a lower level, we can use the ability provoke. Someone wanted a beetroot. Oh yes, from Victor's Hollow, I think. They wanted something from Snow. What's inside the big house? A plum. What's inside the mini church? Healing grape. Hail Traveler, have you perchance been to Flame's Grace, not far south from here? It's the seat of our faith, a magnificent city with a great cathedral. Oh, hold on. I forgot to interrogate you. Not that I mattered, you know nothing. So that hidden item is inside that house, which is only possible by using Ulbrich's per uh challenge ability. Uh, talk to everyone here, here, and here. Talk to everyone there. Okay, let's go back into the tavern slash brothel. Not brothel. Theater. We'll just call this a theater. Oh, first. Uh, not yet. I did not realize I did not steal from you. And I don't want you running away before I can steal things and scrutinize you. Excuse me, that was a 96% chance. Invented by trade, needs material, those are the materials. Yes, we'll give them to you now. And suddenly everyone melts away. Oh, you've got just what I was looking for. Please, by any chance, would you be willing to part with those things? Thank you. Now I can finally make my prototype. With a sturdy metal container like this, and with proper venting, I should be able to put the coal and flax inside and ignite it to... Mm-hmm. Yes, this should work. And there. I put the whole thing into a good woven sack, and it's done. Oh, it's so toasty. I feel warm to my core. In a snowy land like this, keeping yourself warm is absolutely paramount. This must be Canada. Look at the roofs of the buildings, for example. You see how the snow piles up? Well, one must knock the snow off quite regularly, or the weight becomes too much for them. But how do you keep yourself warm when you're out knocking snow from the roof? You can't have a stove in your pocket, and good luck starting a fire in the snow. But if you have one of these, you can warm yourself even when you're out clearing the snow. Tucking one of these into your jackets could even keep children warm when they're out playing in the winter snows. And if you feel so comfortable in the warmth that you happen to fall asleep, there's no worry about things burning out of control. With my invention, people can feel warm and safe and comfortable. 
thank you so much for your contribution to making my dream a reality. Oh, oh no. I've decided on a name for my latest invention. You tuck one in your jacket, and if you slip your hand near it, you'll feel warm in no time. So I will call them handy warmers. Simple but telling, don't you think? Now I'm going to perfect their design to make my handy warmers even more convenient. I'd be happy if my handy warmers gave everyone in this chilly land a little hand up. Okay. So we're gonna actually call it there for now. Call it an episode. Because next up we have to start Primrose's chapter. And... That means we're going to be taking on a new storyline. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Octopath Traveler. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not for more Octopath Traveler content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!